For all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer, and today we'll be unboxing and reviewing the ghost face costume from screen. This is actually pretty exciting. Okay, so, I do have this knife. It's not real, but uh, let's see if it can actually cut open this box. Hey! This ghost face costume, which I've wanted to get my grubby little hands on for over a year. And now came the time, I guess, you know what, I don't really need to do that. Now has come the time to do it. Here we go. Check this out. Can you see that? This is from the 25th anniversary of, I think, of Scream. No, 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 it can't be. It must be Ghostface himself. No, uh, I'm not totally sure. I'm pretty sure it's Scream. Someone will correct me in the comments because Ghostface, I don't know if you know, know this, Ghostface is a separate entity, the Fun World Ghostface mask, from Scream. It does say as seen in the motion picture Scream, so uh, either one of those may be correct. And what's different about this costume than many of the other ones that you'd see at Spirit Halloween, Party City, Walmart even, is that this one has that metallic fabric and I think that's the main selling point of this. I don't know if you can get that really good. I don't know if you really can catch that on the camera. It's very visible in real life that this is a sparkly robe and I'll try to I'll try to accentuate that once I take it out of the packaging. Which I'm going to do right now. So as you can see this is the Ghostface mask that comes with is that it's kind of a hybrid of some of the other Ghostface masks. Let me show you this real quick. This is kind of the stock one that you can get at like Walmart or basically anywhere. It's like 10 bucks usually. It is this flimsy version with the full hood and these little little side drapes. Over here this is the plastic model that you get with a lot of the standard costumes, the, the non-sparkly ones. These are kind of the two different masks. This mask is a, a third version. It is flimsy like this mask, yet does not have the full hood. It only has this, I don't know what to call it, a beard, uh, a, a chin disguiser. But it does remind me more of those 90s Halloween masks based upon the texture and kind of the look of it. So that is something interesting to note. Here, you do get the gloves, which I'm super glad were included here. And hopefully they fit me because some gloves, oh, look at that. They actually fit like a glove. Take a look at that. How cool. Because I know some of the costumes don't come with gloves and that's Pretty unfortunate because you really don't want bare hands with Ghostface. You'd leave too many fingerprints behind, and that's not good. Let's get to the main part of this though, and that is the entire robe itself, which I'm trying to get a good look there. That's a pretty good look at that sparkle material. Now, this isn't like generic glitter, like, uh, there's no glitter residue on my hands. It is just built in to this very stretchy, mind you, fabric. So there's only one thing left to do, folks. So, uh, I don't really quite know how to review an entire costume. I usually talk about masks and props and little things, but an entire costume, where do I begin? Um, well, for starters, the quality of this is really good. It has this like double, double layer feel to the fabric and it's really nice. The armbands have this great elastic that you don't get in a lot of the cheaper costumes and the gloves match the fabric of the full costume. 
which I think is really nice for a 25th anniversary kind of deluxe fit here. The hood is a good quality. It's quite thick. It also feels that double layer. I'm going to get to talking about this in a second, but all in all, I like the way that this costume kind of flows, you know? If you had a knife and you want to uh, get some stabbing motion in there, you have those nice frills that I think really let you know that this is a ghost face costume. I'm going to jump into all my little mm, criticisms, but I dig it. I dig being Ghostface. Okay, first of all, I got several comments on my voice changer video, link in the description, that I look like uh, Incrediboy. This is very true. I've also gotten several comments that I look like either Matthew Lillard, aka Stu, or Roman. Which, I, 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 I appreciate the compliments. Do I actually look like either of those? I, I have no idea. Anyways, let's talk about the costume. I do have some praises. I do have some criticisms. Overall, my final verdict is that this costume uh, is the superior costume to any of the other ones that you'd find in Halloween stores or online. Because while those ones are fun and usually pretty cheap, this one's also affordable, pretty inexpensive, and it's a lot more accurate to the films. It feels better quality. It comes with gloves. It's overall a better costume. The hood's better. There's a lot going for it. Now, uh, a couple of criticisms, and I'll go into more of those praises. This mask is fine, I guess, but uh, I have a couple things. One, I don't, I don't really care for this. I get it kind of covers this, but I don't like this fabric, and it usually puffs out and looks like Ghostface has a, a goatee. Um, I, I mean, I like the material of it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I think that the the eyes are pretty well blacked out. Some of them have a, a, a glaring problem with this. This one, for instance, where you could like see someone's eyes through it. So I'm not crazy about this. This is a little more accurate, but I still would probably suggest something like this if you're if you're wanting to get pretty close. Or you can spend a bazillion dollars on eBay and get an original one. Uh, your money is your thing. But I, I, I don't hate this. It's just not my favorite. I think it needs the full hood if you really want to disguise yourself. And that brings me to my main qualm with this costume. This. I love the gloves. I love the feature of the gloves. However, no matter what I do, this hand for some reason works a little bit better where if I, I lift this and have it kind of cinched around my, my wrist here, it will stay up. This hand, no matter what I do, I think the elastic's not that good, this uh, will fall off. And if you're cosplaying as Ghostface, your Ghostface for Halloween, Ghostface around the house because you want a vacuum dressed like a killer, um, you're going to have some problems with this because I imagine you're going to have like a, a toy knife and you're going to be lifting it up for pictures or just to scare your friends or stab the innocents and you're going to expose your skin and then everyone's going to know what you look like and that's not good if you're a ghost face killer. So what would my recommendation be? Uh, perhaps get some kind of elastic ba uh, band or maybe some Velcro right there and, and kind of do that situation. That's an option. Uh, what I wish they would have done is have a thumb loop to kind of go like that so you can move around and nothing will happen. But they didn't come with that. I do like the elastic because you don't get any kind of elastic give on those original costumes and so it makes the form better. But that is a criticism that I would have. The gloves are very nice. Uh, I, I appreciate that they came with these. I also quite like this, the little frills, a lot better. I do wish that that sparkly material was on both sides. You kind of get a bare side over here. But I suppose when you're doing uh, most front-facing activities, photos and whatnot, uh, this is not really a huge concern. 
Overall, the quality of this costume is much better than the ones you'd get in stores. It has like a double layered feel to it. It has this nice elastic. The hood is really solid and thick. And all in all, it just looks more accurate. I love the sparkle on the robe especially. You could pay thousands of dollars to get a professional one done online. And I guess if you're a big fan like that, you can do it. For me, as someone who loves this franchise, I think it's my favorite horror franchise. You can check that video out on my channel as well for favorite franchises. But nevertheless, despite my love for Scream and for Ghostface, I don't know if I want to drop a grand on a black robe. You could just go to Bed Bath & Beyond or get this one, which is a lot better. Really great quality. I'm really happy with it. I'd maybe say get a different mask because I feel like the mask is kind of a big part of this. But once you get the mask uh, good and not uh, deformed on your face like Melting Van Gogh, you will have yourself an all in all pretty good ghost face costume. If you haven't, check out my video for this guy. Spoiler alert, it's not a good voice changer. It kind of sucks, but uh, it does look the part. It's basically the exact same one from Scream 5, from Scream 2022, and you can get this guy, the knife, from Spirit Halloween. It is uh, not sharp, it is plastic. You're not gonna cut, you're not gonna cut yourself on it, uh, and it does look just like the movie and uh, looks sharp, but it's not. All these accessories and more, the gloves that come with the costume, all of this can make your ghost face dreams come true. That's not the mask this came with, I just have masks everywhere right now. But, are you ready for Scream as much as I am? Let me know down there in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and remember, for all things Halloween... This is Han Former. I do not know how Ghostface is so good at that.